Okay. I'll try and chronograph uh, two of the same load in different cases just to see if there's a velocity difference out of the uh, this gun. Hard to see it at this focus. Ruger Blackhawk 45 Colt revolver. These are stiff loaded hand loads. Here we go. First shot. Chronograph. That didn't work. Eleven ninety nine feet per second. Second shot. Pause time. Different gun. Marlin 1894 45 Colt rifle, 20-inch barrel. Same loads as the handgun, Remington case to start. Sixteen sixty. Same load, this time Starline case. 1663, same speed almost. Oh. And I have to pause this for a moment. Okay, ballistics test. Again, Marlin 1894, if you can see it, I'm out of focus probably. 20 inch barrel. This is not the cowboy model, it's a conventional model. I put these uh, stock protectors on here, they're real nice. Anyway, it's 45 Colt, my own hand load, maximum charge of Winchester 296, Starline case, and uh, I just clocked it going 1663 feet per second out of this gun, which is pretty brisk. Anyway, I'm going to shoot into these six jugs down here. First four are milk cartons, they're all one gallon, and the last two, a uh, windshield washer and a vinegar container, they're all one gallon, six lined up, hopefully I'll catch the bullet. We're going to find out what happens. Here we go. Big splash. Let me line up the jug. It's going to be a big splash. <laughs> we'll find out. One, two, three. Help to load it. One, two, Okay, well here's the aftermath of the shot. I managed to get very, very lucky. Here's the aftermath. First jug, just completely detopped, no lid left. Second one, lid's missing as expected, a little rust shredded. Third jug, pretty torn up at the top. Now for the much more durable container. This is a vinegar jug. Small entrance hole here small exit hole here. Oh, I forgot about this one. <laughs> forgot I shot through four milk cartons before I hit that. This is actually the fifth uh, 
fourth container that it hit. See, it made the smallest hole and the smallest rip out of there. Then, this is the order they were in. I'll show you this again here. Here we go. Yeah, it was just like this. First jug, second jug, third jug, fourth jug, which is the, the milk jugs. They're not as thick-walled, they're not as tough, so they didn't tear up quite as much. I mean, they tore up more than the others. The vinegar jug's thicker-walled, made a hole here, exit there. And the final jug, this is the, this is the one that finally did it for me. This is the windshield washer jug. You can see the entrance there. And it actually made a dent on the back wall. Fortunately, it was just enough because you can see the water shoot out of both sides. I pour out the water. At least it's got some vent holes in it from the 45 bullet. Keep pouring. And there it is. Very good expansion, as it turns out. It went deep. Went through six jug. Went went through five jugs and just barely was contained in the sixth, which uh, was also thicker walled. I call that a ballistics test uh, success. I didn't expect to recover it. It did lose its jacket. I can see that. This is just the core, but the expansion is very good. Have a good one. Okay, here's the uh, bullet I tested in the uh, milk jugs just a while ago. It's uh, 225 grain Hornady uh, FTX. That's the Spitzer uh, with the soft tip for tube, designed for tubular magazine rifles. And uh, anyway, the chronograph speed was, I don't have, know where off the top of my head without reviewing the video, but it was well over 1550, I think it was. So it was moving pretty quick. Penetrated six milk jugs, and that's what it looks like. You can see it shed the jacket, which means it probably lost close to half its weight at least. And it's mushroomed pretty well. That's a very severe test. Probably more, much more severe than shooting it into even a deer. But it expanded. And we're going to find out how much it weighs. And that will conclude this. Yep, it's just over, half, just under half the weight's lost. It started out weighing 225 grains and now weighs 119.2 grains. And that's it.